Good morning, Colts. I'm your anchor, Audrey. I'm your other amazing anchor, Lainey. And this is KTV for March 9th, 2023. Hey, Lainey, I am so hungry because I skipped breakfast today. Do you know what's for lunch? I do not have anything for breakfast today either, but I do know what's for lunch today. We have orange chicken and rice, followed by a hot dog, pupusas, and the usual, a sandwich. Orange chicken sounds so good right now. Anyways, Lainey, did you know that we have five spirit days next week? Let's watch a quick video from leadership on it. Hey Colts, just so you know, spirit week is coming up. Monday the 13th is Twinday. Tuesday is Tacky Tourist Day. Wednesday's Camo Day. Thursday is Celebrity Day. Start dressing up on Monday. Thanks for the amazing video leadership. I hope it doesn't rain during Spirit Week because it sure has been raining a lot last night. I wonder if there'll be any more rain. Good question. Let's check in with the weather studio. Good morning, Colts. This is the weather studio for March 9th, 2023. This morning, we'll have breezy rain with the winds getting up to 45 miles per hour in the afternoon. The highs, on the other hand, are in the lower to mid 50s and the lows are in the 40s to lower 50s. Tonight, it will still be windy with gusts getting up to 50 miles per hour. Anyways, I would suggest staying inside because there's a slight chance of thunderstorms. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall, so that means there's a risk of maybe getting electrocuted if Zeus decides to bring us lightning with all that. This is a little off topic, but I probably, but I know probably most of you are going up to the mountains because of all the snow there. But I just wanted to give a warning to all of you planning on going up. The roads are going to be really icy with black ice, and since there was so much snow, some roads have not been plowed yet. So it's definitely a risk to take to head up there. Even to get on the mountain, you either need chains or to have four-wheel drive. I would suggest always having chains in your car just to be safe. Most people suggest going to the mountain because they're not going to the mountain because of such conditions. Well, that's it for the weather studio. Make sure to stay safe. And now back to Lainey and Audrey in the KTV studio. Thanks, Caitlin. I will make sure I am not heading up anytime soon. Hey, Audrey, I think we have an upcoming spirit day, but I can't remember what we are supposed to wear. Well, I know what to wear. Colts. Next Friday is Green Day. If you don't know what, if you don't wear green, you might be pinched. Speaking of spirit days, our next dance theme will be Hollywood. Here is, our, here is another video from Leadership on the dance. Hi, can I buy a dance ticket? Cut. By no. a dance permission slip, you should make sure that all the boxes are checked plus your parent's signature. And don't forget your $5. Hi. Hi. Thanks for the video leadership, but gosh, dancing sure gets me tired. I think we should head into the sports corner for a quick break. Good morning, Colts. I hope you're having a great Thursday. It was two powerhouse teams that were going head to head in the KGS gym. The death and experience prevailed over the KGHS Gregorius and undefeated Colts, the Crab and Wild. With all that said, yeah, we lost. Anyways, in Costa News, their track and field will be going to the Santa Rosa Twilight Invitational on Friday, March 10th, and Costa's baseball team will be playing Marie Carrillo. It is an away game at Marie Carrillo Santa Rosa on Wednesday, 15th at 4 p.m. P.S. It's a non league game. So that's it for today, Colts. Now back to the KD, KTV studio with Audrey and Lane. I need to go to the snow this weekend. Oh, thanks for the amazing sports report, Zoe. I can't believe our wrestling team lost to Windsor. Well, I'll make sure to go support Casa Sports anyways. Well, 
Lainey, have you ever heard of the Star Spangled Banner by Francis Scott Key? I know a little bit about it, but can you tell me more though? Yeah, but I also only know a little bit about him and the Star Spangled Banner. Something important that I do know is that he released it on September 14th, 1814. Wow, I didn't know that, but I think Allie and Michael might know more about this topic. I bet you're right, because we have a video made by them. Let's watch it. Coming soon. On, on September 14, 1814, Francis Scott Key composed the lyrics of the Star Spaniel Banner. After witnessing the massive overnight British bombardment of Fort McHenry in Maryland during the War of 1812, penned the famous words after observing that Fort McHenry's flag survived the 1800 bomb assault. The patriotic lyrics were published in a newspaper on September 20, 1814. Throughout the 19th century, the Star Spandle Banner was regarded as the national anthem by most branches of the U.S. Armed Forces and other groups. What is not until 1916 and the sign of an executive order by President Ward R. Wilson that it was formally designated as such in March 1931. Congress passed an act confirming Wilson's presidential order and on March 3rd, President Hoover signed it into law. Thanks for the PSA, Michael and Allie. Colts, I know we have talked about this before, but remember that you can still request songs for the Hollywood dance. If you are not interested, I mean, if you are interested, go to the All School Google Classroom and fill out the doc. Lainey, do you have any songs that you'd like to request? I don't have any songs on my mind that I feel like requesting right now. Well, that's okay, but if you fill out the doc, you'll be able to request the songs. Well, we have a video made by Mr. Mori. Let's watch it. Cummings. Good morning, Colts. So last week I had talked to you all about new rewards program that we are starting to do with your CARES card. And uh, as I mentioned, it is all about the acronym CARES, showing your creativity, your accountability, your respect, uh, your empathy, and your success. So teachers have these cards uh, they'll be putting your name on it and checking off where you might have um, demonstrated one of these characteristics. Um, won't happen every day, um, but we do reward, we do want to reward you when you are demonstrating those things. I've handed out a couple myself. When you receive it, take it, make sure your name is on it, and then you will put it in the box here in the library. And then what we do is we will be doing drawings each week uh, for wards. Uh, for example, we're going to be doing drawings. Um, for this week um, for gift cards and so some students will be earning those at the end of the month We'll be doing some drawings for possible larger rewards um, needing larger monetary value um, And then we're gonna be coming up with some of those rewards where such as duct taping me to a wall or maybe shaving my head um, So those will all be involved with either the card um, or maybe some classroom um, competitions. But if you do receive one of these cards, congratulations, thank you, and make sure you drop by the library and put it in the box. Well, I guess that wraps it up for our show today, Colts. Have a great Thursday. And, and that's KTV. KTV.